This is how evil people can be. This man booked a plane ticket to Nairobi from Boston, Massachusetts, where he lived and worked. On his way to the airport, he went along with his girlfriend, 31-year-old Margaret Mbitu, who was a nurse living and working in the United States. In Boston too, when they got to the airport, in his car, in his SUV, they went to a parking lot where he parked his car and was getting ready to board his flight and travel to Kenya. I'm guessing his plan was that when he gets to the airport, his girlfriend Margaret was going to drive the car back home, look after things for him in the US while he goes to Kenya for as long as he probably was intending to. Unfortunately, while they were in the parking lot in the vehicle, he brought out a knife and stabbed her multiple times on her face, neck and other parts of her body while she was sitting on the passenger side of his car. After killing her, he locked the doors and went on to board his plane to Nairobi. And up till now, as at the time of making this video, he has not been found. Not many people knew that she was with her boyfriend in the car in the parking lot. It was on the 30th of October 2023 that Margaret Mbitu was said to have gone missing after she failed to return from work in Boston, Massachusetts. Margaret was the last born of her family and in her house, everyone was a nurse. They all moved from uh, Kenya to the USA in 2007. And ever since then, she had lived, studied, and pretty much worked in the USA. So when she went missing on that 30th of October 2023, everyone was worried. Her family were worried. They tried calling her, but they could not get to her. No one pretty much knew where she was. Hoping that she would come back the next day, but didn't, or thinking that she was probably still at work, the search for her grew intense when... By the next day, the 31st of October, when her boss called her family that she hadn't showed up. It was then that things became serious. This was when they knew that, okay, something bad must have happened to her. They made a missing person report and began making flyers with her pictures asking for anyone who had seen her. And when the police began their investigation, their first suspect was Margaret's 40 years old boyfriend, Kevin Kangate, who they said was also living and working in the... Um, the USA. It's not clear how long he had lived there or, you know, if he was born there, but clearly he most likely have come from Kenya to the US. So the family told the police that that was her boyfriend and who knows that she could also be in his place. But the mother, that is Margaret's mother, was concerned because towards the time she went missing, it was said that Margaret was planning on breaking up with the boyfriend, Kevin. Not specific on the reason why Margaret would want to end things with Kevin. All her mother knew was that she was at the verge of ending their relationship. And when I think about it, I want to guess maybe Kevin was planning on starting a new life in another country, or maybe Kevin only came to the USA to study and was planning on staying back and maybe his green card did not work. And so now he had to go back to Kenya. And I think that could be a good reason for Margaret, who would still continue living in the USA to probably want to break things off, citing the fact that she still escorted him to the airport. So I'm thinking towards the end of their relationship, they were pretty cool or they were planning on already ending things. So when the police got the information about um, 40 years old Kelvin, they went to look for him. He did not live in Massachusetts. He lived in Lowell in um, Boston still. And when they went to his apartment, he wasn't there. Instantly, they traced his vehicle, and that was when they found out that his vehicle was parked in the Logan International Airport in Boston. And quickly, they went there because they could trace the vehicle there. And it was through this route that the police discovered Margaret's body in the passenger seat of her boyfriend's SUV. She had been stabbed multiple times, slashed to her face, and killed and left in the vehicle to rot. And that was when the police also discovered that Kelvin had bought a plane ticket to Kenya and had already boarded the flight and had already left the country. Margaret's family have called for justice because right now, they don't know where Kevin is. The United States authority, as well as the Kenyan authorities, are said to be working together. In fact, the words have gotten to the Kenyan authorities and they have gone to Kevin's house in Kenya to look for him. They searched everywhere and he wasn't there. He's currently at large and I feel like it will be difficult for him to be found saying that he has successfully run to Africa. As at the time of making this video, no one knows the motive. No one knew why Kevin did what he did to Margaret. It's hard to tell and personally, 
my intuition is just telling me it's one of those you know things maybe they were having relationship issues or maybe he doesn't want her to move on or maybe he asked her to follow him back to kenya so that she can be a typical you know african wife and that did not happen it's unclear it's hard to know because for him to take her to into his vehicle to escort him to the airport and just when he was about leaving the vehicle he brings out a knife and slashes her like some kind of horror movie kind of shows that he had had this plan for a long time this was what was in his mind the moment that he was about to leave the country was when he targeted that he was going to kill her because he knows that if he kills her first before buying the plane ticket and leaving he would most likely not have left the united states he would most likely have been caught and arrested so this was clearly strategized and planned kevin knew what he was doing when he asked her to see him off to the airport you know one of those one last goodbye one of those moments where he she was probably thinking this would be notebook moment where he will hug her and they would break up peacefully and go their separate ways not knowing that this guy had every plan to let her not move on and i think that is what it could have been i think that that is what must have been i just feel like maybe kevin did not just want her to date anyone else we've seen this attitude and behavior in a lot of men feeling so possessive of a woman feeling that if they can't have them no one else should and their only way to do it is to either disfigure her face or in most cases kill her because if it had happened in the house let's say if she had come to the house and he had killed her there in this method i would understand that they had a fight but i can't imagine the situation of her seeing him off to the airport and all of a sudden while she was still seated at the passenger seat clearly not having enough time to even run out of the vehicle because for most people if they are being stabbed she could easily pull out the vehicle and run out of it but she was found dead in the car which means this guy held her down make sure she died before he even left he meant to kill her this is how evil people have become and now that he's in kenya or now that he has run out of the united states it will be a lot more difficult to find him in africa because he might probably not be in kenya because once you get to Kenya, he could be anywhere. He could be in Tanzania. He could be in Nairobi. He could be in Nigeria. I just feel like the police need to put his face out there and his name out there. It needs to be on every public record, on every news outlet, so that everyone in every country will be on the lookout. Because I don't think he can hide for long or hide forever. But if the story dies down, there's a chance that this man will go scot-free. There's a chance that this man has enough money to start a life in any African country he wants and no one would even know that he was once married or he, was, he once dated someone and killed the person in the USA. Now that he is in Africa, I'm sure it would be tasking to find him. It's just unfortunate.